Hi, and uh, welcome back to my channel. If you guys uh, are returning, thank you. Uh, if this is the first time you guys are checking it out, also, thank you for clicking on it. I hope you like it. Uh, this is actually, I think, either my ninth or tenth time seeing them live uh, since I was in high school. But I am really excited because if you have not seen the Addicts play live, I highly recommend it. They are amazing artists, uh, instrumentally and visually. It, if even if you don't even know who the band is, just I would say check them out. It <laughs> they they never fail to amaze me. They never, I never walk out of their upset bored. That they always put on a great show. So check them out. So I'm gonna do an acrylic pour on this. Uh, that will include a lot of like green, silver, white. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of light black just because the main piece uh, for Monkey's face is going to have a lot of black in it with a white outline. Um, so I'm going to try to keep those tones a little bit less like a flat white is what I'm going to use for this. And then maybe inside um, the acrylic bar I'm going to use more of a metallic white. So you kind of like will see the flat on top of the metallics in the paint. Uh, but I mainly made stencils for this one uh, just because I do want to make sure the proportions are right because I won't be able to go back and fix the acrylic pour. So that's why I'm doing the acrylic pour first. This way uh, it does take 24 hours for it to finish. I'm going to be using uh, Artist Loft uh, acrylic pour medium. I have some that are already pre-mixed and then I'm going to be make, uh, mixing some colors up for this. I'm not really uh, unfamiliar with Drawing Monkey. I've been drawing them since I was in high school. I mean, which a lot of the drawings that I made were either um, of some of my friends or some of them were uh, like the bands that I listen to. So I usually use Monkey to draw um, a lot of figures with. So like, I did go through the bin and found a couple pieces. So I found this one. It looks like I started him. Uh, I didn't quite finish making it, but you can obviously tell I was drawing Monkey there. And then I had another one. I was drawing one of my friends. And then I also have this little uh, clown dude, if he doesn't look familiar, also monkey. Um, yeah, and then this one is actually an acrylic painting that I finished uh, with my old school name, Baby Cakes. This I made in high school. I was probably a freshman in high school, so about 13 or 14 years old. Um, but I made this one right after I seen them play at um, Showcase Theater in Corona. So I seen that them play at Showcase Theater, um, and this was actually on the flyer. So I was I brought the flyer with me to school, and I was drawing it out. I had it drawn somewhere else, and then put it on a canvas and repainted it. So I've uh, definitely been listening to that since I was probably in elementary school, just because all my older siblings listened to them. So it kind of uh, influenced on with me, and uh, yeah, I started seeing them as soon as I got into high school I, I seen them play. Uh, they've definitely been a big influence in my life. Countless songs like Smart Alex and Walk On and Who Spilled My Beer, Shining, Popcorn, California, Troubadour. I don't know if you don't know, Joker in the Pack. Uh, every patch jacket I have ever made is always contained an addicts patch like every single one that I've made has contained an addicts patch and if I don't have one with an addicts patch on it then it's it, I probably was really lazy or took it off for something else but it mean a lot to me so since I'm seeing them this week I wanted to make something cool hope you guys like it So some of these are already pre-mixed, like a metallic white, silver, this uh, black. Like these are all already pre-mixed. Huh? They're holding pause. Oh. Uh -huh. Damn it! What <laughs>
So I've been using a lot of metallic acrylics inside the acrylic pour. But when I put the stencils on, I'm going to do like a matte finish. This way you can kind of tell the difference between the image and the acrylic pour. Got black, green, metallic. This one's more matte, but I could change that up still too. So. Uh, I want to make a yellow. Mustardy yellow. Um, I don't know, I'm not really, I'm not really good with these colors right here. I need this. Cool. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and start layering them. Um, I don't want my last color to be. So let's start. A little bit of metallic white. A little bit of silver in there. I'm going to do some of this metallic green. I'm going to add in some metallic black. I'm going to pour this one in kind of slow. So I don't want to stir up too much. This is like metallic -y Christmas green, I think it was. I guess I'll say metallic. -y. Metallic. God damn it. Metallic. Let's try this yellow out. First yellow and everything. So this. I didn't put too much white in it because remember I'm going to do lettering as white. I like vinyls. They're cheaper than going to get canvases, and I mean, there, there's a million of them sitting at thrift stores, and you know, people's music taste change. Might as well not waste these. You know, it's using someone else's old art to make new art, and I respect that. Cool. Now we're ready to pour. So this one I'm just gonna do it um, same like I did last time where Oh, look 
at that. I wasn't sure if I was going to like the yellow in it, but I actually really do. <clears throat> oh, it's super cool now. I like that it's stretching. Uh, even though I got a tray, I'm like totally going out of the tray because I'm paying way too much attention to this than where I'm dripping. Luckily, I put a mat down, or a, luckily I put a tarp down on the table, so we're good on that. But like, it gets too mesmerizing. I'm a little lost in it. Yeah. 